purchasing our R1 Bluetooth radio. In this video, we will show you how to set up your R1. Inside your box, you will find the Ruark R1 Bluetooth radio wrapped in a protective cloth bag, a DC power adapter, two plug adapters, and a user manual. Slot the top of the plug adapter into the power supply unit and it will click into place. Fully extend the aerial to ensure you get the best radio reception. Plug the power in the back of the R1 and once it is connected to mains, the R1 will go into setup mode. Firstly, the R1 will ask you to select your language. Use the arrow keys or the control knob to scroll to your language and press the control knob to confirm. Next, you will be asked whether you want to enable DAB radio. If you live in a country where DAB is broadcast, then this should be enabled. Again, use the control knob or arrow keys to select and then press the control knob to confirm. After this, you will be asked to confirm your FM region. Other than if you live in the USA, Korea or Japan, then most regions should be selected. If at any point you want to go back to a previous menu, press the menu button until you see the setting you want to change. Next, the R1 will ask you how you would like to set up the time and date. If you live in an area where DAB is available, we recommend using the Auto DAB option. If DAB is not available, then you should select the Auto FM option, as this will update the time and date through RDS. Although please be aware that setting time and date this way can sometimes take a few minutes before the time signal is received. Finally, you have the option to manually set the clock. This should be used when no automatic time and date transmissions are available and is also useful if the power to the R1 is constantly interrupted, such as when used in a hotel room with a keycard, which cuts power when removed. In this instance, the internal real-time clock keeps track of time and date and restores this information as soon as power is reapplied. Once you have set your time option, Setup Complete will show on the display. Depending on how you have set your R1, the R1 will automatically scan for DAB or FM stations. If you've chosen to receive both DAB and FM stations after the R1 has finished scanning for DAB stations, you will also need to scan for FM stations. Press the source button, scroll to select FM, and then press the control knob to confirm. This will initiate an FM scan and the station frequencies available will be automatically stored. With scanning complete, you can now enjoy your R1's great sound and features.